Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for being with us tonight on TCM. Our star of the month is Steve McQueen, and we've got a full slate of McQueen pictures on tap tonight, starting with the signature Steve McQueen movie from 1968, Bullet. Not only is this the definitive McQueen movie, it was also Steve McQueen's favorite Steve McQueen film. He's the title character, Frank Bullet, a cop. It's like a bricklayer being named Frank Mason or a baker named Frank Baker or a TV weatherman named Dallas Raines. That's a real guy in Los Angeles. People do not talk about that enough. Anyway, Bullet is a detective with the San Francisco PD. He's assigned to protect a witness set to testify against the mob, which means people want to see that witness dead, maybe even people inside the SFPD. The plot gets a little complicated, which is a polite way of saying it's nearly impossible to follow. But as I said, this is the definitive Steve McQueen movie, so those plot problems just don't matter. The action is not convoluted at all. It's powerful, straightforward, and memorable. Bullet has served as a template for police dramas going forward with macho, irreverent central characters like Clint Eastwood's Dirty Harry or Bruce Willis's John McClane. McQueen's company produced Bullet, so he called all the shots, including filming on location in San Francisco instead of a studio backlot. He also hired director Peter Yates. When McQueen saw a Yates film, Robbery, that included a dynamic car chase, McQueen knew he'd found his man. The car chase at the centerpiece of Bullet almost certainly won the Oscar for editor Frank Keller. The scene features a 1968 Mustang with a 390 cubic inch, 325 horsepower V8 engine. I don't know what that means, but real men have assured me that signifies the car's quite fast. The scene starts roughly an hour and five minutes into the movie. It's nearly 11 minutes long from 1968 with Jacqueline Bissett, Robert Vaughn, and Robert Duvall. This is Steve McQueen in Bullet. Bullet's signature car chase took four weeks to shoot. The crew took full advantage of new lightweight cameras that had just been introduced. Director Peter Yates has said that Steve McQueen did all of his own driving, but other sources differ, and those sources are correct. Stuntmen Bud Eakins and Lauren James contributed significantly to the stunt driving, as did Bill Hickman behind the wheel of the other car. McQueen tried unsuccessfully to buy one of the two Mustangs used in the sequence. One was scrapped, but the other passed through several owners over the years, and it was sitting in a Tennessee garage until the owner contacted the Ford Motor Company two years ago. The car still has camera mounts welded underneath and a Warner Brothers parking sticker. It also had its backup lights removed per McQueen's orders. Since then, the car has been added to the National Vehicle Historic Registry and is currently on a nationwide tour. Up next, more from our Star of the Month, Steve McQueen, as he stars in a drama set in China during the 1920s. 